Bro, you got like less than four health. What you think you're gonna do, huh? <laughs> oh, well, hey guys. I guess it's been a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I think I kind of lost my YouTube ways. Um, I mean, just a little bit. I, I had to take a small incursion and kind of explore what else my creative mind could do. Because I was brainstorming ideas like every day. I mean like every day. And apart from brainstorming videos, I started thinking, what if I start making my own waves? So I started thinking about modding. And one thing led to that. And then another thing led to that. And so here I am today. I got a brand new crazy overhaul mod for Blade and Sorcery. Changes all the vanilla stuff, makes combat what I think to be more realistic. I mean, how realistic can it be in VR to stab somebody? One, two, three, four. Or, you know, like bash them on the head. Or, you know, even like shooting them in the leg with an arrow. If I shoot him. And so in this video, I'm showing you guys everything that I've been up to. Well, okay, not everything, because that would be a really long video. But I'm going to show you guys some of the things I've been up to, and that way I can show you guys if you've been looking for a way to spice up your blade and sorcery experience, then come on down. Alright, so we're going to take a break from the arena in this first part, because I think I overplayed the arena just a little too much. So we're going to try out my new custom AI and custom NPCs out in the town or the market as it's actually said and you know it's funny i it's been so long since i've been here like are those tents new because that's a nice color and look at that bush that bush was not there before and if it has been there for a long time it's because i always play in the arena but all right so just like in my last video uh this mod is built upon the old one the big difference is that i had this huge combat overhaul so, I'm just gonna go down and show you guys what's new. So, skipping all the vanilla stuff. Vanilla's cool, but we're doing Yang Bang's challenges. Woo! Sorry about that. Okay, so what we have new is endless archers, endless melee. And endless melee is pretty fun. It's got every type of melee character I made, and it's just, it's endless. It gets crazy. So, how about that? Knights of the Round. Knights of the Round is a pretty awesome one. So it's all just big dog NPCs coming to beat you up. I can't say they're armored yet, but they got tons of clothes that makes them look like they're armored. They got long swords, and they got big oak, those big red kite shields. They're mean, red, and they want to hurt you. Uh, long live Caesar. You guys already know that one, and that's a favorite. I, I hear a lot of people talk about that one, and I think I'll do that one later in the video. Maximus Maximum, that's always been the same. Uh, knew that, you know, there's more NPCs, more waves, but it, it's pretty dope. Look at that, total of 80 NPCs to fight all the way through. You can do that one and record it. I will, you, I will be your biggest fan as a YouTuber. As a, as a gamer, that's what I'm saying. I made this one specifically for the challenge, and anybody who can play that, ah, uh, I'm going to enjoy watching your video. And then next we have Sorcery School. So U8, as some of you guys have been following the game, you know it's going to be coming out next month or so. We're all excited. So I thought, you know, I'll make this one and hopefully expand upon it in, uh, when U8 comes. And it's all, it's all mages. It's a huge mage fight. It, it's pretty dope. Right now it's only lightning, so it's not too exciting. But it can be. I mean, it, it still is. Next then we have Sword Fighters. And this one is kind of like Endless Melee, but specifically only for swords. So if you're a swords kind of guy and you're just like, show me some long, hard, uh, cold steel, then you're going to love this one. This one's really fun. And then Vikings. Vikings is literally like, if you've been watching the Viking show or you're just a nerd, a history nerd I should say, and you just want to see some Viking-ish stuff, Vikings is what you want to do, and these guys will put you through the ring. Alright, so I think I'm blabbering on too long. Let's get to some action. So, lastly, just real quick, uh, I added a bunch of 1v1s because some people were asking, like, hey, you know, I just want to do 1v1s. And actually, this is, you know, if you can't do the light version, then maybe you just stick with the 1v1s because the 1v1s are pretty fun too. But I'm going to show off modded, no shield, 1v1s. If you just want the vanilla guys, you guys can do that. But if you want some real flavor, try out the modded 1v1s. 
So I'm gonna run this, and I'm gonna go grab some weapons real quick. So in my mod, let me use this. Let's check him out. Look at him with his new clothes and new weapons. Oh, he's so excited to fight. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Okay, so I am going to demonstrate archery because my mod actually first came off as an archery overhaul. So if I shoot you in the leg, you're probably going to go on the floor. If I shoot him. There you go. Right in the foot. Hey, take a moment. It's okay. Walk it off. Oop, not that. It's supposed to be three to the arms or three to the legs, and they should go down. And if you guys notice above them, that's not part of my mod. That is a good friend of mine's Deadly Kitten or Kitten Deadly on Nexus. And they added a health bar, which is super cool, and it actually kind of helps see the differences in my mod. So I'm going to put two in her chest, and let's see how much damage damage it does. Look at that. Almost more than half, but not more, not less, I guess. Unless you cheese the arrow. But realistically, two to the chest, and you're down. And then, one to the face, and you're down, down for sure. Look at that. Out for the count. In this video, I'm just demonstrating what I've been up to, guys. I know I've been away from YouTube for a minute. It's just too much fun to mess around with this game. Alright, so demonstrating one big overhaul that I did was the knockdown. So, your head, now your head, their head, their legs are weak target zones for getting knocked out. So watch, I'm gonna hit his knee a little bit, and he's gonna go down. And remember, I aim for realism, so... It's not just a gentle tap and you'll... Oh! Okay. Well, let me just hit his leg. There you go. Lay down. Perfect. Ah, oh, the flat of the blade. There we go. So, tons of overhaul stuff, guys. Got knockdown, damage, target zones are a little bit more... Target zones are a little bit more squishier than others, so you know, you could chop at his arm all day, but that's it's gonna hurt him, but it's not gonna hurt him. So let's do. Let's do an axe to the chest. Look at that. Almost what? Two thirds of his health. You gotta hit him good, alright? can't just smack a weapon against them. Like I said, it hurts. But it don't hurt that much. Every weapon has its own thing. I can spend all day blabbering about all the changes I made, but I'm just gonna demonstrate a few. And... Uh, the blunt damage is one thing I really wanted to do. I guess, just to explain it, blunt damage does the most raw damage. As in, there's no special... Because you can't stab with it, you can't slash with it. It's all dependent on how hard you hit. So I'm gonna just tap him on the head. If I could. Uh, so, you know, it hurts. That hurt a lot. If you swing this bad boy, though. Oop, I missed. Alright, so I missed a few times. But what I'm trying to say is that if you can hit them right in the head, in their dome piece, with this bad boy, this thing was designed to crack open skulls. And it's a one-shotter. You gotta give it enough force, and you gotta hit them right. So, just like... Just like that. So hard that I let go of my grip. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, he's got one too. Hey, what's up? Perfect. Okay, so I think we're done with the tutorial, and me talking about how awesome I think my mod is. That Let's go ahead and play it, and uh, get some good action in here. So, since everyone has been really liking Long Live Caesar, I'm going to play that. But I'm also going to try out a friend of mine's mod. And they have a really awesome dagger pack. And I asked them, well, I asked the community, like, hey, pick, pick me too so I can fight with them. So, I'm going to turn the camera over here. And, okay, that was disappointing. Like, I had this, this pile of daggers this high. Let's, uh, let's try to fix that.
So this is Drag's um, mod pack for daggers, and I had a bunch of them just all laying around, but I guess I gotta do this again. And yeah, so there's two lucky daggers in here that I'm gonna use. There we go, something like that. So I'm gonna use two of these bad boys. I'm gonna do my mod, uh, the wave called Long Live Caesar, and we're gonna have a good time, guys. Woo! And before you say anything else, hey Yangbang, are we ever gonna get any more actual modded reviews? Yes, eventually. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to play some games. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but these two were picked, and I'm gonna start with this one. And we're gonna do Long Live Caesar. And of course, we're gonna do it the hard way with six mechs alive. And it's gonna get crazy, guys. This total of 60 dudes. 60 dudes with daggers. That's a lot of stabbing, a lot of slashing, and a lot of pain. Alright, so let's do this thing. Oh, cool. I got my, uh, my pocket floating with the red fart clouds. JK. Alright, so previously, last time, I just had like a maw come out in a huge mob. But, ow. We know how it really happened, right? Caesar walks in. It's like, hey, what's up, bros? And then they're like, hey, uh... I got a secret to tell you, Caesar. We've come to kill you! And Caesar didn't like that. Not at all. Alright, there's a bunch of these boys. Hold on. Camera's all turned up. Alright. Ooh, look at all your health bars. I can see who's gonna die first. Ah! I'll tell you what, man. Caesar in a knife fight? Ugh. That must have been a nightmare! Ice pick this. Uh, go for that dome. Uh, dick shot. Uh, okay, I guess that's it, right? Nope. <laughs> Wave two. Let's go. Uh. I might have to take out two daggers. I forgot. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh. Woo. Right in the face, guys. That's the sweet spot. Oh, ow. How much am I hurt? I'm good. Take my empire from me, will ya? Well, me and my dagger have something to say about that. Oh, I missed. Uh. Ah. So <laughs> Whew, that's a lot of stabbing, guys. Ah. <laughs> All right. Is it break time yet? I'll pull up my sleeves real quick. Bro, you got like less than four health. What you think you're gonna do, huh? <laughs> Alright. Hello. Are you ready to die? Ah, damn it. Lee got stuck. Ah. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Let's uh, switch daggers again. Ah. Ha! 
Oh. Oh god. Uh. Ah. Jump kick. Pua. Ha. Y'all guys gotta let me catch my breath real quick. Huh. Ah. Bob and Weave, gentlemen, and ladies. Bob and Weave. Remember, soft, squishy spots, head and neck. Come on, I'm only doing this once. Your neck, girl. Hanging huh. uh. up on me. Are we good? Huh. Yeah. Okay. You know what? We're doing this double. What? I said we're gonna do a double. It's supposed to be easier. Ah! And punch! <laughs> Give back my knife. Oh shit. Oh. Ah. Alright, guys, to finish it off, one last friend. Huh! Ah. Oops, wow, what an ending, right? There we go. Whew. Okay guys, well, that was uh, Long Lips User. I hope uh, you come around to play my mod and have tons of fun playing it. And if uh, you like this video, like and subscribe for more, more or less. Uh, I'm a pretty friendly guy, I think. Just leave me a comment on what ways you guys would like to see me try out next. I mean, I built the darn thing, so... Uh, I'll see you guys around, and uh, yeah, peace out, guys.